to. And so the Bard's Tale 4, and this is the director's cut, it is available across multiple platforms. Um, and like I said, we're going to be playing this pretty much for a while because I'm going to make this a gameplay series. Um, don't forget, uh, Cat Quest is still going on as well, but this will be done in addition to that. Um, tonight I'm going to be playing it, but after tonight, the Bard's Tale 4 will be moved to Fridays at 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. EST because that kind of works out better. Um, I may get really, really into the game and may want to go longer, but during the weekdays until my son is on vacation from school, it's hard for me to play past the 1 a.m. because I would need to be in bed by 1 to make sure that I get him prepared for school and stuff. So... We're going to move Bard Tale 4 starting next week to Fridays at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And play some other indie games on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So, And then, of course, as always, on Saturdays, it's Cat Quest until Cat Quest 2 is completed. So, But let us go ahead and... Let us go ahead and get um, Bard's Tale up here. So. Okay, so we're going to load our game. We already created our character, so I think we would be here. And going forward, I will probably start actually naming the um, playthroughs, so we'll know where we are. The song I sing will tell the tale of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torch-lit halls, and a price men had to pay. When evil fled and brave men bled, the game is slightly low. Okay. Stay till men of old, Hopefully that's blood better. And gold had rescued Scarabray. Okay. And as always, I do have my trusty D20 here, so if anything pops up that I can't make a decision on, we're going to roll for it. We'll let, we'll let it be in the fate's hands. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm playing a fighter, so. Thank you! Wow, Tarek, for the 100 bits! Hope you are well this evening. And hope you are doing well. Thank you for those presents. I appreciate oh, that. We made it. What a nightmare, eh? Come on. We've got to get to the old guild and figure a way to protect ourselves. But I am going to be playing the Bard's Tale for... Like I said, tonight, because I did promote that it would be played tonight on my Thanksgiving stream. I am switching this to Fridays at 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. or a little longer. So. The Adventurer's Guild from back before the old town was buried is still here after all these years. Just a little filthy and liable to collapse. At least it's well hidden. Okay. No danger of another visit from the Fatherlands. Come on. We're looking for a green door. Okay. Do not enter. By order of the temple, this property is condemned. Disease, corruption, or abominations may be found within. Do not enter. Ah, okay. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. What's this? It's this not a green door. What is this? Uh, what's, oh, probably grab that. Can never go wrong with herbs. Cause they're probably some type of healing herb. Or I can make them into a healing herb. Like, never go wrong with that. Uh, be used in crafting. Um, okay, I'll take it. 
Probably shouldn't have did that one anyway. Can't push that. Here's some more herbs. This game's really beautiful, and I've been really, really wanting to play this. Especially because I do play D&D. &D. And so, um, and then it's the winter. And unfortunately for me, because I do play D&D, &D, it's really hard for me to get into kind of like MMORPGs again. Because of playing D&D. &D. But, this this has a D and D Hold feel on, to it. Hero. What's this? You'd better touch that luck stone. All right. Luck I'll stones have been okay. around since before the All War, and it's always good to give them a rub, particularly before a fight. They can give you a second chance if things go wrong. Okay. There. Now you're safe. No matter what befalls, you'll come right back to here. Okay. I casually keep doing that because I secretly wanted to actually break up to where I can save. It's driving me nuts. Okay. What's this? Probably, I can probably push that. Because I'm like, what is that? Yeah, we're going to push that. Can't get behind there. Because one of the things, too, about this is that you can actually um, do, like, a push and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I said push, but I meant to say you can actually play this on a grid or free form like I'm doing. So, that's pretty cool. If you're one of those types of people who enjoy the grid form games, this does allow that. Um, I need to write down this website because apparently, yeah, um, a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the dungeon crawler type games I normally play, even like the ones that I've reviewed for daily, uh, gamepad.net, um, a lot of them tend to still follow the old school grid, which is cool, you know, cause I mean, I don't mind playing a grid game. To be honestly truthful. I do like the, the free form of this as well. But. Sorry, I'm trying to write down this. Uh, this website. Because apparently you can use this as a part of the game. Oh, or I can get it out of the extras folder. Okay. And because I'm still new to the game, because I know some people will probably be like, why are you running a tutorial? Because I am still new to the game, that's the only Adventurers. reason. How did they escape the fire? Wait a moment. I don't think these are any friends of ours. No, they're up to mischief. We'll have to fight them, I fear. Okay. Look out, an enemy. Charge enemies before they spot you to get the first right. If they spot you first, they'll get uh, get you the first time. Okay. Help! Help for the master! What are we for? Your turn. Combat in the bar cell is turn based. You have three opportunity points to spend each turn. This number will increase as you progress. Your adventurers have abilities that cause opportunity to activate. The only way to recover opportunity out there to spend is to end your turn. Okay, got it. Um. So I can taunt. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Ready. What do you got for me, buddy?
Well, we don't need you to... Aha! We? She might have... I'm gonna have her... How do you even exist? Taunt. You can't talk like that to me. On your word. Baby. Little target's in range. We are gonna end our turn, because he's going to be taunted by our... Um, chop. Really? Uh, she should also be able to chop. Oh. Which kills him. We win. Okay. Kill for the masters. What masters, I wonder? Loot the enemy. We got grain and gold. What the heck? Coins. The dragon. Cutthroat dragons while blonde. Okay. And we got more money. Did we loot this one? Yes, we did. And go that way. Aha, chess. Loot. Let's see, what does that do? Give her plus two to her con. I'm gonna give her that. Because it takes her kind up by three and her strength up by one. What are you wearing? Hi. Okay. He's actually wearing what's good for him. Maybe those rogues were carrying something to burn down these boards. Alright. Combat in the bar still takes place on a 4x4 four four grid with your party standing on one side and your enemy standing on the other. Movement in the combat is critical. Which enemy an adventure hits depends entirely on where they stand on the battlefield and the targeting pattern of the ability they're using. Yeah, the music in this is pretty good. Um, Let's do this. Right off the bat. I think I will have you chop him down. Sure. Mm. You've used all your opportunity and you have no spell points left to spend. Left click on the end turn button to pass the turn to the enemies. At the start of your next turn, your opportunity and available abilities will be reset. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Bard. We're gonna need you to heal. Thanks, buddy. Do that. Yeah. I'll have sick. her taunt him. Why I ordered So that he does because the bard is the healer, so you usually want to keep your healers protected. Oh that music was actually getting really good. <laughs> that it is that. That was a nasty scrap. Let's okay, see you're taking some damage. Heal up before your next fight by eating food. Right click. Okay. The music was getting really good, too. I'm kind of mad. Yeah, I'm not eating that, and I'm not taking that. Ah. Uh.
It's really going to make me take all of it. I really don't want that um, rotted food, though. Oh, but it says it can be used in crafting. I think she's the only one that needs to eat, so I am going to have her eat. Oh, they okay, it benefits both of them. That works. Nice. Move may be used twice. And I'm going to give her the sword. That is a sword, right? Yeah, okay. Who's there? There they are. Crap, we got spotted. Right. Who wants to die? They are going to go first because they spotted us. Uh. Go on. I'll give you a free one. Hmm. On your word. Let me just. Whatever. You know what? Enter. I don't I think it's because we're not we're not in range so it won't let me use that particular move but she can't move up either Ready. Stepping by. Ah, I have him kill. Oh, oh. Fine. In the turn. He's a bar, so he can't take it. I really don't want to run through our... Uh... This window contains both the inventory and the character sheets for your entire party. From here, you can view your adventurers. Uh... Adventurers attributes and passos. Equip gear, drink potions, eat food, and manage your inventory. Confirm. You have multiple inventory pages in which to store items. You can flip between your inventory pages by selecting the circular page buttons or by using the left or right arrows. You can also see lore items or quest items by clicking on the associated button. On the left is the character sheet for your current selected adventurer. Here you can see their attributes, passive abilities, currently equipped gear, and mastered abilities. Master abilities are abilities that have been permanently committed to memory by the adventurer. You gain master abilities primary through your skill tree. You can select which master ability you have active by opening the mastery book. You can change which adventurer you're view, viewing by selecting their portrait at the bottom of the screen or by using the arrows on either side of the character sheet. Lastly, you can switch over to the crafting menu by clicking on the crafting button here. Brew potions, build tools, and cook food in the crafting window. Learn how new crafting recipes by buying them 
from merchants and learning them through your venture skill trees. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So let us go ahead. There's another lock stone. Better safe than sorry, I guess. You fools! You let them scatter! Now we shall have to drag them out again. Mm. The people must see what a danger these outcasts are. Isn't that nice? We're the danger? Who set fire to the guild? And who keeps hanging innocent folk? Oh boy. More paladins. Can't let them spot us. Edge left. We stick to the shadows. The adventurers' guild is just around the corner. All this right. Be fun. Okay, watch out. These enemies will wipe the floor with you. But you best stay clear. If you look at an enemy grow from a moderate distance away, you can de detect how strong they are compared to you. Three enemies are easy, yellow are even, orange, challenging, red, and possible. He said stick to the left. What is that? Right, what is that? One leg, one arm. This... This is a fashion. I've sung songs about them, but I never thought I'd see one. Okay. <laughs> right, you're like, okay, whatever you say, buddy. It spotted us. I was really gonna try to... Like, char- Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. Watch out, the fetch is focused this hypnotic eye attack and kill. It'll kill everyone in front of it if you don't move your adventures out of the way before it fires. You can also stop an enemy from focusing by hitting them with mental damage. Right back to hitting like your ability deals mental damage. Give it a try. Really? Move. On your word. Pardon. Oh. Hit it with that. Sure. And turn. So the opportunity points look like they hit from everybody. Oh. I forgot it said we can hit it. Fine. And turn. Yeah, we were not in its way. Shit, I just left him open. Hopefully he don't do nothing. She gotta move. Let me just 
They would have had to switch. Probably should have healed him instead of her. Moved. Stepping by. Move. In turn. I like we have to get out of that. Uh, <laughs> I knew he was gonna die, but. One of your adventurers have been incapacitated. They're not dead. And if you win the fight, they'll stand back up with 25% of their health. Okay, confirm. Might be a piano. Get out of the way, cause he's gone, so I don't know how we were able to do that. Yeah, the combat in this is deep. I don't know how I was able to actually pull that off, but I did. <laughs> like, ah, right, that happened. Hopefully we got something good from that. What? We need, oh, well, we got some bones. I could trade in the bard. Okay, we need to... Okay. Here's another chest. Uh, we'll take it. But I'm assuming where this blue is is where we would want to go. Stay in the camp. Okay. Put her part right in front of me. I didn't know whether to shit or scream. Pick up the diaries of Hanaf Akhmor, Volume 3. The third day to Satyan? A traveler I met last night confirmed that these horrors are not confined to Sakarabre. Monsters and monstrous occurrences are terrorizing Fetter Crane and Kabnag and more. And in those towns as here, the paladins are quick to place blame upon adventurers and the old races. Why are they so blind? Do they not know that it has been the adventurers and the old races who have traditionally protected the people when such horrors have arisen? Whatever the reason, they seem to be ignoring the true monsters and attacking the very people best equipped to keep them in check. Baffling. Uh, 
All right, this guy has a blue head, so you know, I'm some of your quest giver, buddy. What do you want? Your goblin. Forgive me, my bile. It is not you who have stunned it, but these cursed clods who broke my best loot and battered me with their oafish fists. Oh. If you need an instrument, I have a few I am willing to sell. I am trying to raise enough coin to return to the Everwood. The venture has not so far been a success. Oh. What clods were these? A mob fevered by the Fatherites. They accused me of trying to lure some badish boy into the shadows, then set upon me with fist and boot. Oh, wow. Had not a fellow adventurer been passing, I've no doubt I would have hung from their tree. Fortunately, a dwarf named Dalgleish saw my peril and dragged me to safety, taking many blows himself. I am in his debt. Oh. Not the finest instruments you'll ever find. Just a few I've acquired over the years. Please. Okay. Thank you for the raid there, Wild Tarek. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. I don't even think I have enough money for this. I like how they be like, huh, you can buy stuff for me and then this stuff's overpriced. Like, come on now. Thank you for that raid. I hope you all are doing great this evening. Just playing a bit of The Bard's Tale for and if you are tuning into the stream, currently, if you use the command exclamation point BT4, it brings up information on how you can purchase the game. And where you can purchase the game. I know I just saw prices on this. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I, I guess I can buy some things. Oh, okay. But so the heart. I'm gonna, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be for you. It would be for him, to be honest, truthful, if it'll let me. No, really? Bye. May you have better fortune than your fair friend, Mary. And in my offhand, I'm going to play this loot. Hello there, Java Mountain. Hope you are well this evening. And I'm going to go ahead and give... Um, while Tarek there a shout out. As I try to spell, spelling is not working. But there we go. Hopefully that should work. Yep. Um, and it looks like uh, while Tarek was playing World of Warcraft. Are you... Um, Last I remember, I don't think you were playing classic. I think you were still playing uh, retail, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> ah, okay. Because I, you know, I bought the new expansion for um, WoW. But, like I said, I've, because I've been playing a lot of, um, a lot of D&D &D lately, 
I haven't really had the urge to play really a lot of MMORPGs. I've been playing games that are similar to D&D, so. Oh, here go another saving crystal. <laughs> like, it's really hard, especially because in our D&D group, we do a lot of, oh, why are you crying? It is your papa? Or your husband. Oh, well, she don't want to talk to me. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> Farmer Hi. Killip. Hi, Farmer Killip. But because we do a lot of role-playing in our D&D sessions, it's hard for me to, like, play MMORPGs unless I'm kind of, like, now in, like, a role-playing realm. Good to see you safe. Well, take care. Cabbage? Carrots? Potatoes? I'll take it all. Cabbage, uh, carrots, and uh, potatoes. <laughs> okay. Well, take care. Aye. I'm just saying, I guess if we get us some cabbage, carrots, and potatoes, he'll be our friend. Yeah, we need those. I'm sorry. Welcome, friend. <laughs> right, I'm like, you need anything? Yeah, cabbage, carrots, potatoes. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm Raysa, and this is Palifax. How can we help you? Um, what help do you offer? You folks arrive in here every day, driven out of their homes by monsters or potatoes. paladins or what have you, and they all need to eat and sleep. Oh, I haven't much, but we share what we have. If you need food, it's there. A place to lie down? The houses across the way are safe, and if you're wounded, get in that line there. We'll see to you as soon as we can. Okay. Yeah, they're nice. It was all chaos here when the attack started, so somebody had to organize. Yeah. Me and Palifax here, m my husband, we started finding blankets and food for the rest and, and keeping watch as best <laughs> we could. Right. Not doing too bad so far, but there's more folk coming in every day. It'll get worse before it gets better. Yeah, we, we all have our weaknesses. Ah, uh, my bold, brave husband. Always manages to find trouble where no one else can. Good thing for a guard, I suppose. Not so easy on his wife, though. Well, at least we're in trouble together this time. Oh. I don't know, I keep hearing her talk, and for some reason I keep thinking of Becky Lynch from WWE, and I feel bad. Oh, man. Help out if you can. We I'd need love it. To. Are you? Are you? Are you? The, yep, you're the husband. Hey, buddy. More folk. More every day. Where are we gonna fit them all? All right, Wow, well, Terry. Thanks again for the raid and thanks for hanging out for the little bit. And again, if you're not following. It's Ray Wyatt. If you're not following Wild Tarek, uh, definitely go ahead and give him a follow. And he plays a lot of World of Warcraft, so. Well, we're gonna fit them all. Okay. If you need food and healing, see my wife here, Risa. If you need a blade or some leather on your back, see me. And if you're fit enough, we could use some help holding back the darkness, as the City Watch ain't likely to help us down here. Yeah, I kind of goofed and spent money on a thing from a bard. And why shouldn't I be? Was with them for 30 years until this Henred becomes bishop of the Fatherites. Then all of a sudden being Einar is a sin. Fired for worshipping the wrong gods. Took my house and tried to burn poor Racer as a witch. Pooh! Spent half my life arresting the rats that lived in Scarabree below, and now I'm down here helping them. Oh, it's a funny old world, eh? Oh, you one of those guys. Uh, you were a paladin type person. And thank you, Dan, for that shout out. I appreciate it. I've got some likely lads patrolling the camp. But what we really need. There's some hardy souls to go into the dark and clear some streets. Things seem to be breeding in there. Horrible things. Oh no! Well, we know who Rissa is, but we'll Rissa's still ask. my wife. 
Met her at her father's tavern. Oh, she wouldn't look at me at first. But then, well, I guess she got used to me. I won't find a kinder person in all of Keith. I don't know how I got so lucky. What are you selling? Have a look. What are you buying? What are you selling? I have no monies. Oh, maybe I can sell. Can I sell this stuff to you, buddy? Why can't I sell that? Ah! It helps clean out the inventory, if anything. We have hardly nothing because I accidentally bought stuff for my bard, and I'm okay with that. Thanks for looking. Thanks for providing. All right. Here we are. I told Orlo not to let anybody in who didn't give him the Wildland whistle. Give it a try. You just learned your first song of exploration. Songs of exploration can affect the world in many different ways. First, bring up the party bar. Next, reveal your abilities. Finally, play the song Wildland Whistle to open the door to the Adventurous Guild. Okay. I'm gonna save. And as it looks like it's about almost midnight, we're gonna actually, um, before I whistle this nice little tune, I think I'm gonna get up and stretch my legs. Um, as I said before, I only had to like 1 a.m. to actually uh, 1 a.m. to kind of play this that's why I'm switching this to Fridays um, at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that I can play for longer um, it's really hard for me to play on Wednesdays because I have to be off by 1 a.m. so we are actually going to take a quick break here and when I get back, we are going to play some more of the Bard's Tale 4. At least up until 1 a.m. So I will be...